It is nicely engraved. Or <laughs> wait, 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 I take that back. <laughs> it's not nicely engraved at all. What is that? It's like not even stamped. It looks like someone just tried to like push it with their finger. Wow, that is terribly done. Okay. <laughs> huh. um, really What's going on guys? Anthony from Chronometer Check here. And today we're gonna be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the highly regarded Bastock Amphibia. I have been awaiting so long to get my hands on one of these bad boys, an absolute cult classic. And I love a stock. I love the Komandirsky, the Amphibia's little brother that I have. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so it comes in a pretty decent looking Vistock box. And right away, oh baby, that sparkle. That that just hits you because it's the polished everything just hits you right in the face. Um, we've got some instruction manual that's and some bubble wrap on top of the instruction manual. So that's kind of interesting, whatever. I can't read Russian, so no point. Um, but yeah, so it, oh man, this is absolutely amazing. Like no lie, this is actually my first time looking at it. Um, wow. It's all polished. It, okay, it has some heft to it. I definitely wasn't expecting for it to have this much heft and it definitely has some weight, I'm sure the bracelet contributes absolutely nothing to that. Um, but yeah, wow, it looks really, really amazing. So this is the Vistock Amphibia uh, 710 case with the scuba doo dial. I don't know the exact reference for the dial. All that will be in the title description, etc. cetera. Um, let's peel this off. Let's get some nice peeling ASMR. Watch protector peeling ASMR. Hey guys. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna get creepy real quick. But yeah, it helps if you have a little bit of nails. And yeah, wow. Look at that. Ah, oh, that was so satisfying. Okay, so of course, I mean, I feel like this model has been talked about so many times. I don't really know what is kind of, what, what hasn't been said before about it. There's not really much. Um, but basically, it has this sort of blue, almost like a teal, a dial with the scuba dude, the, the little dude over there, which is of course why this is called the scuba dude, but really any of the models with the dial with this scuba dude is called the scuba dude. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit smaller than I thought in person. Not that it's a small watch by any means. Uh, I have my calipers here so we could get them out in a second, but it's, it's definitely a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, which is a good thing because I don't know, I thought it was gonna be an absolute monster on the wrist. I think the cushion case will probably help out with that sizing a little bit, but yeah. Um, it's just really, really, really nice. People say it looks super cheap. The polishing, I get it, but the, because it's all polished, it kind of almost looks like it's like a chrome plated watch, even though it's not, which I actually think the Komandirsky is, but yeah, I mean, you could kind of tell the difference, but yeah, I, I don't think it looks that bad. I can understand why people would want to like mod and brush it themselves. And I, I'll link a video to someone doing that. I saw it, I forgot who it was. Sorry about that, buddy, I forget your name, but you did a really good job of uh, brushing the this exact model. And yeah, I think it looks absolutely amazing. The bracelet, as everyone says, I can already t tell it's, it's super flimsy and super light. And you know, everybody says the bracelet is awful. And that's what I expect when I get a watch for under $100. This one was like less than 70 on eBay. I'll put the link down below. You could also get it from Amazon, but they're always much cheaper on Amazon. And also Marinam is, is I think the official retailer for this. Um, but yeah, so with this crown is, okay, the crown is big, everybody knows this, blah, blah, blah. But one thing I noticed right off the bat is, again, going back to the size being smaller than I thought it was, the height, I thought it was gonna be super monstrous. It's really not. Let's break out my calipers. You know, what? you know what? I take that back. It's about 15 millimeters thick. I don't know why, but this watch is just not looking as thick and, and as big to me as it as it kind of seems in the video. Um, I wonder if it's because of the, the cushion case or something like that, or just, you know, yeah. Okay, let's try to open this. Wow, there's like no room for anything here. It's just straight up flat. There's like no room to, to slip your, your thumbnail or your thumb or whatever in there at all. It's just absolutely flat. So it is a flip lock clasp. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Again, this bracelet, not expecting much out of it, but okay. So I do have seven inch wrist. It does look bigger in the video. I think it might be the wide angle lens giving a little bit of fisheye distortion, and but in every video I've seen it was like that, so I wonder why. But yeah, um, 
it kind of even looks a little bit too big for my seven inch wrist in the video, but I think it actually, in person, it wears really, really well. So I'm not sure like the, the signs behind that, um, but yeah, you could see the polished, you could almost see me in the reflection of the polished finishing. That's actually almost hilarious. I actually really like the polished finishing. I think this bracelet doesn't really suit it and it's too much bling bling with the bracelet, but I think switching out the bracelet for a different strap will actually make it look really, really good. Okay, typical flimsy Vistok crown. I love how big the crown is. It really makes it just like so easy to just change the time. Of course, it makes it, it doesn't help at all to change the date because it doesn't have quick set, which by the way, I found a little trick to set the date. You go between eight o'clock and 12 o'clock back and forth, which is kind of a pain. See the, the date shifted. Now we got to go all the way back to eight o'clock. And then we're going to go back over to 12 o'clock and the date shifted again. That's it's such a pain in the butt. Um, I really don't like having a date window where there's not a quick set feature. It's just kind of, I mean, unless it's your only watch and your everyday watch, it just defeats the purpose for me because you're just going to have to set it every time. Or what I'm going to do most likely is just going to be lazy and not set the date because um, that's just how I am. But yeah, the dial looks amazing. The hour markers look great. The loom pips look cool. We will do a loom check in the full review. The red seconds hand, I feel like Vestat kind of overuses the red seconds hand because they use it on like almost every single model. But I mean, it's cool. It's a nice touch. I, I don't mind it. Um, there, there are so many mods you could do. You could actually change out the second hand yourself if you want. There's so many mods with Vestock. I think Vestock is like probably the most highly modded watch next to Seiko's. So there's so much third party support and so many forums and threads out there on Vestock modding. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these hour hands. I love the, the, uh, embassies, the hour markers. Is it a line? I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. I was not expecting this but the bezel has absolutely no action whatsoever. Like it doesn't click into place. It just glides all over, which is fine. You know, it turns very easily, but it doesn't feel secure. I feel like you could easily just brush this on something and accidentally move it, which is not good if you actually want to time something. But if it's just for the fact that like it's there and you maybe have a little bit of OCD and um, you want to spin it around, that's kind of fun. But yeah, for timing something, I feel like this would not be useful at all. And it is bi-directional also, which is weird for a diver watch. So I, even though you can, it does actually have 200 meter water resistant rating and you definitely can dive with this. In terms of timing your dive, you, I mean, you probably have a diving computer or something anyway, if you're diving. So, um, but yeah, it, it's not going to be your primary go-to, I would say, um, but it is, reliable, very, very sturdy, very, very water resistant. And you can definitely go swimming with it without having to worry too much about it. Um, I love the distorted crystal. Wow. So it's an acrylic crystal. It's going to get scratched up pretty easy and you can feel it definitely doesn't even feel like mineral. It literally feels like plastic, but it's just, I don't know. It's really, really cool. Um, and you could also just get rid of the scratches really easy, but so it's not a big deal, but it just adds a really, really nice distortion. And it also actually helps with the water resistance. So what happens is um, when uh, water pressure is applied to the watch, it actually compresses into the case and it actually makes it even more water resistance as the gasket gets smushed down and then kind of seals around even tighter. But yeah, the bracelet is definitely going to get removed. It does. It is nicely engraved or <laughs> wait, 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 I take that back. <laughs> it's not nicely engraved at all. What is that? It's like not even stamped. It looks like someone just tried to like push it with their finger. Wow, that is terribly done. Okay. <laughs> um, really, really cheap stamped clasp. Yeah, exactly what you'd expect. The bracelet doesn't look as horrible as I feel like everyone says, but it definitely feels just terrible. I think if they would have brushed some of the links and left the inner links a polish, it actually would have looked half decent. I actually might do a mod of that just because, you know, why not? Not that I plan on actually wearing it on this bracelet, but yeah. So I'm really thrilled with this. I can't wait to go, you know, throw this on some different bracelets. Um, I might do a, a mod with a bezel. I'm not sure about that. I'm considering swapping it out for like a black bezel, but I actually kind of like this one as it is. I don't know. We'll have to see about that, but I will do a full review once I get some more time with this on the wrist and, you know, form some solid opinions on it and stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.